Hello. Start your week with a win at Web CME. The Wound Information Network's sunny side up topic is silver zombies. According to a recent posting by Emily Conover in Science, the zombie apocalypse may be a reality for some bacteria. New research shows that when exposed to silver, certain bacteria can go zombie, wiping out their living compatriots even after they die. The results may explain silver's long-acting antibacterial power. The therapeutic use of silver dates back thousands of years when the ancient Phoenicians, Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians were recorded to have used silver coins to preserve food and water. The first reported use of silver in wounds likely dates back to 1520, when Paracelsus applied silver nitrate as a caustic for the treatment of wounds. Silver ions perform their deadly work by punching holes in bacterial membranes and then binding to essential cell components like DNA, interrupting basic cellular metabolic functions and resulting in cellular killing. However, until recently, silver's zombie effect has gone unrecognized. In an interesting study published in Science, scientists first killed a sample of pseudomonal aeruginosa using a solution of silver nitrate. They carefully isolated the dead bacteria and then exposed another culture of living bacteria to the dead pseudomonas. It was observed that without adding any additional silver, essentially all of the living bacteria were killed. The researchers imaged the dead bacteria with electron microscopy and discovered reservoirs of silver nanoparticles suggesting that the dead bacteria act like silver sponges. The stored silver can then leach out to the environment and have the additional antimicrobial effect that was observed. This finding could lead to an enhanced ability to control the longevity of silver-based treatments. According to Robert Hurt of Brown University, right now, the dominant idea is, if you want a certain lifetime of antibacterial performance, you have to engineer your device to give off silver ions over the full course of the time you want this activity. Understanding the zombie effect could lead to better designs for wound products. For example, pharma companies may even look at silver dressing designs that keep dead bacteria in the wound for longer periods of time thereby enhancing the bacterial killing caused by the silver. Wound zombies? Maybe lessons learned during the night of the living dead are also important for wound healing. Certainly something to think about. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Start your week with